Hi, hello and welcome. Welcome back to the next episode of Doctor Who Classic Episodes. Today we're going to watch the second part of our Dalek story. And I'm very, very excited going into this because I know we're gonna see the Daleks for the very, very first time. In the end of the last episode we have already seen one, but it wasn't doing anything yet. But in this one, I hope we will see how they behave, how they are, how they work in the classic episodes and how we are going to deal with them. I don't think we're going to deal with them in this episode because this story has six episodes and I guess the war or the fight will only start later. I don't know, though. What's going to happen? How are they going to, like put this one big story into little parts. I have no idea what I'm curious to find out. So let's get straight into it. God, I love this intro. Look at it. And now I can actually watch it because I already know the title of the episodes. It's cool. Oh, and I like this one, this doctor. Oh, look at this. I love it. Uh oh. Carmen, <gasps> there is much to be done. Look at this, it's a Dalek! Okay, the music. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> oh no, is something gonna happen to her? She's not gonna die, is she? And suddenly we're Project. on the Enterprise. Your name, rank, and serial number. Speak now. Tane, this is Security Commander Nida with prisoners and. God, this gives me so much Enterprise vibes. Where's Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock and Captain Uhura? <laughs> okay. Good, well now he's got any chance of a cup of tea. <laughs> My friend and I have had a very trying experience. Haven't we had a trying experience, Harry? <laughs> you have no rights whatsoever. I have full authority to torture and kill any prisoner who does not come. Uh, uh, yeah, you do have? With my orders. Mm -hmm. That is your first and last warning. No tea, Harry. He looks so afraid and intimidated. <laughs> What's that do? What's it gonna do? Remove object from prisoner's left wrist. You can't have that. Oh no. Prisoners are to be given into the custody of senior researcher Ronson. So our biggest enemies in this episode are human beings and not Daleks. And then we do have those guys. Kill her now for what she's done to our kind. Now why? Why must we always destroy beauty? Yeah, right. Tell them. Stand where you are and don't move! <laughs> oh, did this shoot him? Oh no. Ah, you mutal. What a waste of good ammunition. Really? Why, well, it's almost a norm. Come on, get up! Up! Ah, kill it off, it's too slow! No, it's alright. What, what? What's going on with you guys? There are Kali patrols out tonight. Are there any people without weapons on this planet? Any species that doesn't want to kill others? I guess not. You're not with the military, I assume. I'm with the science division. Yeah. He looks like a scientist. Scaro is capable of supporting intelligent life. It is also an established scientific fact that there are more than seven galaxies. <laughs> Compositions. And so, if you are from another planet... What does it say? There's nothing. Nothing conforms to any known life on this planet. How did he do that? Who are you? Where are you from? It's a long story. Oh, is that... The... Oh! Oh, okay. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Have any inkling of the theory of space dimension correlated to relative time? I'm very sorry, I was a little... The elite scientific corps to assemble in the main laboratory immediately. Okay. He is our supreme commander. When he calls a full meeting like this, he obviously has something of the greatest importance to tell us. Yeah, I'm sure about that. And keep quiet. I'm, I'm sorry, I was on the wrong track for that scene and I wasn't getting it. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but now, I'm, I'm there. If I may have your attention. What the frick is that? Remarkable results that I have achieved. And to that end, I have arranged this. It looks even more horrible in daylight. Those fingers. Blah. Hello, Dalek. Dalek. What? Dalek. Wait, he knows. But undeniably a Dalek. No mistaken. It's a Mark III travel machine. You say so. Turn <laughs> right. Move forward and circle left. Does the Dalek talk? You will agree, I think, that voice control represents an enormous step forward. Does the, the Dalek itself talk already? With a weapon for self-defense. Now. Self-defense, right. Self-control. It will be entirely independent of all outside influences. Yeah, it will. Thinking. Self-supporting creature. God, those fingers are... Okay. Yeah, the weapon is only for self-defense. We know how that's gonna end. Oh my god, it talks. Until first light. After that, they will be used to resume the experiment. This meeting is ended. That mask is so well done. Look at that alien. This is so well done. I like it very much. And I like the Dalek and it's talking. It's like, exterminate. <laughs> the Thals have built a rocket. They've used up all their manpower and resources. They're gambling that it's going to bring them victory in one blur. Oh. Doesn't sound good. After a few hours exposure, we'll all be dead. We better think of something, hadn't we? Yeah. You better do. Think of something. They're all right, don't push. <laughs> yeah, I guess can't really debate with them. A safe, toxic level? Okay. Interesting. Oh, so they do get safety gear. That's so cute! That device, how it moved. God, I love how they did that back then. I mean, it's a bad situation, I know, but... It's in every field. I sort of think that. Yes. But over the years, the elite has become more and more powerful, till now they can demand whatever they like. Oh. Perhaps this is the team. Oh, there is the scientist. Well, you did save me from becoming the very first victim of a Dalek. That's Thank true. You. Yes, now you used that word earlier. It had never been heard before. That's true, and how does he know that? I thought that was the very first ever. She would be referred to as a Dalek. Now, how could you have known that? Oh, well, I... Because he's a time traveler and he knows all them already. Come with me. Are we gonna see how they are made? I wanna see it. Show it to me. No. Oh, and they're back and exhausted. There's a chance we could get out onto the surface of the dome. It wouldn't be too difficult getting down again. 
I mean, it's a plan. She's right. You have to do it now. I mean, it's so hot. It's the only way. It's our only chance. I like her hair. It's looking really good. Well, knowing our ultimate form, Davros had to devise a travel machine. The Dalek. And now he's trying to change that into a weapon. Uh huh. There is a way through one of the secondary ducts in the ventilation system that leads to a cave at the edge of the wasteland. Well, that's a way. Let's go. Davros's early experiments were with animals. Some of the things that he created were horrific. Oh my god, are we gonna see different aliens? And I have an uneasy feeling you're going to tell me they're in that cave. Oh, I'm so looking forward to seeing that cave. The weapon. That was easy. Okay, so now every group is escaping. Oh, that's a little bit loud, isn't it? Here's where it comes out into the cave. We gonna see the aliens in this episode? What is that? An alligator thing? That look cool. Wow. She's very fit. I don't know if I would be able to do that. Oh, she's afraid of heights? Don't look down. I mean, it's easier said than done, I know. Oh god, the shooting. Oh no. Oh no. You must. Yeah, you must. If you don't, you're in the next dead body. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious ending it like that? What kind of ending is that? I mean, that's the very first cliffhanger ending, like the real bad cliffhanger ending of the classic episodes that I have seen so far. She's dead, isn't she? There is nothing I can think of that might save her. The guy that could like... I mean, and again, it's an old show. They could be like, okay, he's reaching out for her and she's like grabbing his hand and he can pull her up again. In reality, this wouldn't work anymore. I mean, she was far, way too far away from him. But it's an old show, so maybe they are going to do that. But I cannot imagine how there is no other way she could survive this. Great. That's a very good ending there. <laughs> But overall, the episode was really cool. And like I already said during watching it, it reminded me so much of um, Starship Enterprise that I have watched when I was a little kid. Like um, the interior and like how they built this, this, this station. How all of the things that you have seen in the room and all the buttons and everything that was so alike. It was really cool and it gave me this, this feeling as if I was a child again. That was cool. I liked that very much. I don't know, it's a cozy feeling. If you loved those classic episodes, I guess you're having the same feeling every time you watch them. It's just like I'm traveling back in time. <laughs> it's very cool. I like that so much. And it was an interesting episode 
we see Nadales for the very first time, like actually doing something, actually like moving around, and it got the weapon for self defense. <laughs> and it talked, it talked. The, the, the sound was almost the same as in the New Who episodes. They didn't change much about that, which is so cool. Also, the looks of the Dalek. But I don't remember. Because I, I I don't know. The Daleks, were they always as big as humans, as tall as humans? I think they weren't in New Who, but I can't remember at the moment. So I'm not going to go into deep with this, but I just wanted to mention it real quick. Also, I... I uh, Sometimes, I don't know, my brain's not working and you guys have to know before watching this episode, I was watching the Undead episode of Torchwood that is so freaking cool and got my emotions drained and my brain was like thinking all the time and so there were... <laughs> Wasn't, I have the feeling there wasn't much left anymore for this episode because I got some things wrong in this one or I didn't understand them when they were talking about it when the doctor was talking to the scientists and talking about how he who he is and his blood and everything I uh, I'm so sorry sometimes this just happens also it's very hot in here but um or the other scene where the doctor knew that those were Daleks and I was like, how are you able to know their names? I mean, this was the same question and the, the scientist was asking the doctor, but he didn't know that the doctor is a time traveler and I did. So I w should have been able to like put that together that he has already seen them in another time. But I didn't. I'm so sorry. And also, I really do like when we're talking about those cozy feelings and stuff. I do like the style of those m movies and shows that were made back then. Because the actors were doing kind of the same very good job than the actors nowadays are. But the surroundings do seem kind of more theatric in some way when i was watching most of the scenes i was feeling like i'm sitting in a theater watching a play and not watching a tv show because of how they built the interior of the rooms or how they built the walls and you could see that they were just painted and stuff and this is this is this is part of the cozy feeling that I had. So you I it's it's strange to describe it, but you are kind of into the story, but you are more aware that it is a story, it's only a story, a fake one than when you watch Doctor Who episodes nowadays or other TV shows nowadays because they're made so good you can really sink into this world and you can really you, you watch this in 45 minutes if, if it's a good episode you're just into the story and you don't even think about oh this is a movie or this is a TV show and I cannot get to that feeling while watching classic episodes or any other older TV show because it's it's not made and this is not negative okay this is nothing that negative but it's not made that well that you can sink into it and lose yourself in it and the interesting thing about this is that when you watch those things when you were a kid and younger, it was the same exact thing. You could do that. You could have this feeling. And I remember watching Starship Enterprise when I was a little kid and I was so into the story. I had the same feeling as if I would watch a show nowadays. But if I now watch the very same episode, it's not the same feeling anymore. I cannot sink into it without being reminded that it's fake every now and then. 
And that's not a negative thing. It's just an, a thought, an emotion that I had that I wanted to express. Because on the one side, okay, you cannot like sink into it anymore. But on the other hand, it gives you this cozy, warm feeling of, I know that. And, and it's a part of my childhood. It's something that I do remember. It's a part of me. It's something that I grew up with. It's, yeah, you know. And it's interesting. You can enjoy shows nowadays and shows back then. Both of them give you a positive feeling. But it's totally different where it's coming from. I really hope that I'm expressing myself well enough so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's very hard if you do not know certain vocabularies to really express yourself and say what you want to say. And um, sometimes I do think that my English is not good enough to really do that. But I think I did, right? At least in my head, it all makes sense. If it doesn't make sense for you, tell me in the comments. Maybe I can explain it a little better while writing. <laughs> I enjoyed this episode so much. And I'm happy that I watched it. And I'm so eager to get into the next one. But I can't today. I already watched a Torchwood episode. And now a classic episode. And now it's already 12 o'clock. And I have no more time for today. But I'm happy. Yes. I hope you had as much fun as I did watching this episode. And I hope you're gonna be here with me again for the next one. Have a nice weekend or a nice week whenever you're watching this. I'll see you next time. Bye!